Hey, hey you, welcome back. Look, there is no reason to buy new stuff all the time, especially when Samsung is bringing out brand new features that are exclusively designed for the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Yes, especially for that version. And now it's coming to the Tab S7. As a matter of fact, it's coming to the Tab S7 and the Tab S7 Plus as you and I as we speak. And most of this update is designed for people like you and me, for us, multitasking people just like the way we like it. The first changes you will notice is the layout. It's now being sectioned off in two, well, it's split into two sections next to each other. And I guess that is really for ease of use more than anything else. However, the main update comes via the enablement of LUPS. Yes, you heard correctly. Experimental features are now here for your Tab S7 and Tab S7 Plus. However, you will not get it unless you download this version. Another design change you may notice right away is the edge panel. When you pull it in from the right to the left into your screen, no longer has it a blurry background. And whilst on paper this may not sound like a big deal, here is before and after. And let's stay with the edge panel. What you now can do is basically pin applications to that panel in a way that enhances multitasking. Again, you pull in the edge panel as you normally do into the screen. Go down to the bottom and go to pin. Press pin and you now have a permanent dock that can be helpful when multitasking. It will stay put even when you launch a new application. It will always be like a permanent dock on the right hand side. Basically all it does, it gives you an easy access to all the applications you may need when you do your multitasking. And when you press the pin again, it all disappears and goes back to the state it was in before. And now my new favorite feature is basically dragging something along the screen in order to enable split screen. Let me show you. Let's do this this way. Opening the browser, I'm going to samsung.com. I just want to make it as easy as possible. You can basically browse along and there is a whole bunch of information at first glance, but you want to go into deeper exploring another section. And most likely when you press on a link, you're going to open up another tab or you lose the original page you were on and it transforms into the new page. Well, here comes the magic. Press the desired link and drag it to the side. Voila! No longer do you need to open another tab. Split screen has just been activated. Okay, so now you're here and you want to get rid of this. You just basically swipe left or right and then you stay on the page you want to stay on. But there's more. When you do this action and you do the link and you, you basically can swipe it left, right and center, you can go to the top, you can go to the bottom, you can do the same action going to the left if you desire to do so. Enhanced multi-active window. And I know this feature has been here before, but it is way more flexible. Now, let me show you. Okay, so I'm opening up three different applications to demonstrate this to you. You now have the ability to resize and reshape any way you want. Before, it was kind of limited by not being able to move it in all directions. Well, that has now been officially been fixed. You can do this, which brings me really to the lab features itself. Although not all brand new features have been made available for the Type 7 and the Type 7 Plus, some of them make sense. For example, multi-window for applications. As you know, not all applications work well on an Android tablet like Instagram. Well, I believe that has been fixed to a certain extent. Which brings me to the next feature in Labs, which is show application in landscape. And here we go again with Instagram and you can see, and you probably know this anyway, it's not happening, it's not going well with this, but this can be changed now. As a matter of fact, this option is now available to all application and you can do the vertical flip to a landscape flip. And you can also now do this if you wanna have all of this in basically in a full screen. It's entirely up to you. It's available here now to experiment. As for the rest and all other features, I'm gonna put this on the screen now. Please don't forget to like, comment, and to subscribe to be this wonderful person, whether you have a Type 7 or not. Peace.